Hello, this is Primer Gamers, and this is another mod tutorial. So this is on computer craft, and this is called uh, a tangent timer. So uh, this is a uh, I've already done one. Uh, this is survival. So yeah, that's why I've got my generator with my bombs piping into my extractor and my macerator. But yeah, that that's not part of it. So uh, anyway, uh, there is my computer, and um, as you can see, it just counts up. So you could use it as a timer or whatever you want to do it. So control. S because I accidentally set it as my start up so um, now I can't really get it off there but anyway um, yeah so that's a pretty sick thing to do uh, what I'm going to show you is how to actually c program it and code it so um, let's take this computer into here because we've got a little bit more space so I'll just put it there and just follow it. so then here's a normal computer uh, obviously clean because I've just placed it so what I'm going to call it uh, you can call it whatever you want to be honest I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna make you call it something not call it by my gamers but now uh, no you can call it whatever you like so uh, just call it timer I'm gonna call it timer for now so yeah edit timer um, so first of all what you need to type in is minutes equals zero so um, I'm just making sure you, you can hear me right okay uh, that should be okay now pretty close the mic is to my mouth uh, yeah so let's go uh, then it's hours e that's it e equals zero so yeah uh, minutes and hours equals zero at the minute then functions clock it's not actually functions it's function sorry so get rid of the s nope 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 I always get that wrong you have to go one before it so uh, there we go, I'm on clock. Uh, open and closed brackets together. Uh, but on this line you need to go forward one place. So now for this, four seconds equal zero sixty comma one do. So I'm not sure what that do there for, but um, I'm fairly sure I get that. So yeah, um, it's really hard to explain. Well, I find it hard to explain what all of that means. But um, if you type this down, you sh well, you should get the outcome pretty well. So uh, yeah, let's just carry on. So instead of going one forward this time, go two forward. So it's in line with the O on in the four. So type in shell dot run open brackets speech marks clear uh, is it I think it's speech marks again brackets uh, sorry if I'm if I miss stuttering this uh, tutorial because what I I'm, I'm basically found out how to do this this morning just this morning uh, because I was looking up some stuff because I'm quite a big fan of computer craft actually but um, yeah so I've tried to memorize it all but I've written down some notes so I'm just looking at their, those as well so um, yeah uh, bear with me but yeah <laughs> should have it done by the end uh, so let's write print forward one hours uh, that's open brackets print hours comma uh, space speech marks colon I think yeah it is colon uh, speech marks comma again and then minutes without a space between the speech marks or any of that there so um minutes but then after that it's comma speech marks um it's like one of them crocodile things that you have in maps i have no idea what they're called i should really should really know but uh dying dying but uh, yeah let's let's go uh close brackets again um go down another one go forward print space uh, bra open brackets, speech marks, hours, colon, yep, that's it, minutes, uh, comma, no, it's not a comma, why am I doing that? Well, it's not a comma, uh, where are they? There, seconds.
speech marks again and brackets so there we go um by the way that that hours minutes and seconds could be changed to anything like you could because that's basically what it's going to say underneath the actual time so um like in that other computer there it said that but you can made it maybe make it h uh, m and s or h h m m m m and s s so it fits on a line but yeah you can do it however you want really so i'm just calling it hours minutes and seconds because i, I like that but uh go down one uh, then go just after the P on the print. Uh, then it's if second. Have I spelled that right? Yes. Seconds. If seconds double equals brackets sixty close brackets. Then then you go on the F minutes. E oh no, it's not. It, it's not. Okay, there we go. It's equals. Yep, it is. I think. God, this is hard. This is. Uh, okay. Um, I must have a good memory. So it's plus and then one. Uh, go forward to the M on that same line. It's clock. Uh, open and close brackets. So there we go. You got a clock there. Um, then it's end. But that's just the first bit, to be honest. Uh, now you need to go down one and on the same line of the E on the end type in if minutes double equals brackets 60 sorry I'm trying to I'm trying to remember here. Uh, then that's not then that's head 10 or whatever <laughs> yes yeah, so it'll go down again um, same column as the F uh, just there on the if it's hours equals hours plus one then you need to go down so there we go um let me just find it okay so now now you've done that uh, it's at minutes on the same column as the height on the hours um minutes I'm fairly sure it's equal zero. Uh yes I'm fairly sure it is. So just before the M on the minutes just type end and then sleep. Uh by the way this can be changed to whatever you want. Uh one uh, you can maybe make it more precise to a second but I'm just going to leave it at one just because it's video purposes and all that sort of stuff uh, insufficient amount of time but uh, yeah so you can make it whatever you want so now you need to go seconds equals zero but then on that line you need to end so one more little bit and then clock open and close brackets so that's it all of that there um all of this whole thing is a timer a tangent clock what that's what they call it so yeah there we go uh, so what you need to do is remember remember to save and then exit not just exit so let's just do some reboot and i'm fairly sure i called it timer didn't i let's go yep there we go so there we go it's counting up uh, so you've got yourself a timer on minecraft uh, which is pretty sick uh, you could even maybe put it onto a monitor. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to do that now because you've got to do all sorts of commands. But um, well, it's not that hard actually. But um, so that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Hope this helped. Um, by the way, just to just to tell you, um, tonight we, me and my friend, are going to do some Amnesia, the Dark Descent gameplay. Uh, it's a custom story. It's uh, I think it's the attic. I don't know. It's it's new. So um yeah so please watch that uh, that'll be quite good um funny as well cuz we're quite well we're we're scared about it. but um yeah so thanks for watching this hope it helped uh, see you next video